today we will see acceleration need not be in the direction of force, especially when we uh, go into the relativistic realm. From Newtonian mechanics, uh, a very famous equation of Newton, we know that F is equal to M A. This is a very famous equation and uh, A is actually the rate of change of velocity. So, it is M d V d T. So, from this equation from our uh, school days, we know that this uh, rate of change of velocity is actually is in the direction of force. Also, uh, we have learned that uh, if there is a force suppose in uh, x axis does not have any effect in the y axis. Suppose uh, we are talking about a projectile motion like this, we know that the only force which is acting here is m g and that is always vertically downward. So, if uh, the projectile has been uh, thrown with some initial velocity, uh, the initial velocity in the x direction will remain as it is throughout the motion and the velocity in the y direction will keep on increasing with the passage of time and that is from the equation v equal to u plus a t and we can replace a by f by m and like this. But all these are very fine when we are talking about Newtonian mechanics, but when just when we uh, go into the relativistic realm, these equations will not work uh, because Newton's uh, laws are not invariant under Lorentz transformation. If you write, we can write F equal to dP dt, where P is the momentum and we can write as P equal to m naught 1 minus V square by c square v, where m naught 1 minus uh, under root 1 minus v square by c square is the relativistic mass. We can write it uh, with the help of relativistic mass for momentum, but we cannot do it for all other possible cases. For example, we cannot simply write for, for force like when we have to go into relativistic realm we cannot just replace this uh, mass by the relativistic mass that will not do. So, not everywhere we can write this uh, m and replace it by the relativistic mass it will not work everywhere. Now, here we can write p is equal to m naught v and suppose gamma, where gamma is 1 by under root 1 minus v square by c square. Now, what will be dp dt? dp dt, this is equal to d dt of d dt of m naught v gamma and this will be m naught d v d t gamma plus m naught v d gamma d t. 
so we can find d gamma dt gamma is uh, 1 by 1 minus v square by c square so we can find d gamma dt it is t gamma dt will be uh, minus 1 by 2 1 minus v square by c square to the power minus 3 by 2 and uh, minus 2 v d v d t d v d t and c square. Uh, this equation becomes a bit uh, complicated, so we have some better or some easy option to find d gamma dt. We'll use the energy equation E equal to m naught c square gamma d e dt is equal to d d t m naught c square gamma and this is m naught c square d gamma d t Also, we can write energy m naught c square plus the kinetic energy, rest mass energy plus the kinetic energy. This is equal to for a single particle m naught c square will be a constant. So, this will be d k d t and uh, d k is actually the change in the kinetic energy. So, when we apply some force and if there is a displacement suppose d r then the work is done and that work done is actually the change in the kinetic energy. So, d k we can write as f dot d r and d t and d r d t we can write as v this will be f dot v. So, we have d d t equal to f dot v and from here d gamma d t is equal to 1 by m naught c square d d t. So, we can write d gamma d t is equal to 1 by m naught c square and f dot v f dot v. So, going back to our this equation d p d t equal to m naught v d v d t gamma plus m naught v d gamma d t d p d t equal to m 
एम नॉट भी डी गामा डी टी प्लस एम नॉट गामा डी वी डी टी ये डी पी डी टी वी कैन राइट एज द एक्सेलरेशन और राधर द फोर्स सो दिस इज एफ इक्वल टू डी पी डी टी एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू एम नॉट गामा डी वी डी टी इज द एक्सेलरेशन प्लस एम नॉट भी एंड डी गामा डी टी डी गामा डी टी इज एफ डॉट भी बाय एम नॉट सी स्क्वेर सो दिस एम नॉट एंड एम नॉट गोज अवे एंड वी हैव गॉट एफ इक्वल टू एम नॉट गामा ए प्लस एफ डॉट भी भी बाय सी स्क्वायर and from here we can write a and a will be equal to f minus f minus f dot b b by c square and whole divided by 1 by m not gamma so uh, in the next slide we will write a equal to f by m not gamma minus f dot v by m not c square gamma so this is actually the acceleration when we are talking about the relativistic realm so now the interesting fact is that here we can see there is a velocity term and so there will be some component along this velocity and not necessarily always this f will be along v when f will be along v there will be no problem a will be along this f but in most of the cases or in general this f and v will not be parallel or in the same direction so in general uh the velocity is not or rather the acceleration is not in the direction of force from here we can write in general the acceleration is not need not to be or not in the direction of force so uh, the idea that a force in x direction will not affect 
द मोशन इन वाई और जेड डायरेक्शन और एनी वेयर इन वाई जेड प्लेन इज नॉट ऑलवेज राइट देर आर इंडिड केसेस वेन वेलोसिटी एंड फोर्स आर इन द सेम डायरेक्शन एंड देर आर केसेस वेन दे आर इन नॉट इन द सेम डायरेक्शन द क्लासिक एग्जाम्पल इज अगेन दिस द प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन वेर द force is always acting in the vertically downward direction and if there is some velocity initial velocity in the x direction that is going to remain like that uh so we can see uh where this uh, f and v are parallel suppose uh, a body is at rest and we apply some force then what will happen since it does not have any uh, initial velocity initially this v will remain zero and the change in velocity when the force is being applied being applied will be in the direction of that velocity and in the motion all the time the velocity will be in the direction of the force when the initial velocity is zero also uh, when f is parallel to v we can write the same equation as uh, a equal to f by m not gamma minus f v square f v square by m not c square gamma here we have dropped the vector notation because since all the things are in the same direction so this simply becomes a equal to f uh if we take uh, f by m not gamma is common so this will be 1 minus v square by c square and when we uh, solve it by replacing the value of gamma here a will be f by gamma q it will uh, become f by gamma q so uh, again we can see we cannot just replace the relativistic mass and say that uh, the acceleration will be like that because here we are getting uh, gamma q if now f is perpendicular to v so a was so a was f by m not gamma minus f dot v into v m not by m not c square gamma if f is perpendicular to v then this dot product will become zero and we will be left with a equal to f by m not gamma so uh, i think in the previous one uh, yeah yes so uh in this one uh i think there will be uh, m not here i have somehow left it so it will be m not here 
So acceleration is now f by m naught gamma. Again, we can see that we cannot uh, just uh, replace this uh, uh, mass by the relativistic mass. So in one, in one case, it is f by m naught gamma q, and in another case, it is f by m naught gamma. So as such, this m naught, uh, the relativistic mass rather, doesn't have too much of importance. What is important is this rest mass m naught. So we have tried to show that in relativistic realm, somehow the Newtonian mechanics does not always uh, follow and uh, acceleration need not to be in the direction of the force. Thank you.